Hello everyone, time for business. My name is Daryl Kwal. There is uncertainty among uh, foreign shop owners who have reopened for business at Swami Magazine after their facilities were locked up by Ghanaian traders. Some members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association Guta stormed various markets in Kumasi last Wednesday to seal the shops in protest of the closure of Nigeria's borders. Those shops in Kijitia, Alaba and other places were reopened. Those at Swami Magazine, mostly belonging to Nigerians, remained closed until yesterday. A meeting between the Ashanti Regional Police Command and uh, the two groups has been rescheduled a couple of times. Nana Sensumens have visited the auto industrial enclave and reports aggrieved Ghanaian traders are vowing to shut the shops down again. Over 50 shops owned by foreigners here at Swami Magazine were locked by some local traders. Today, we are here to find out the situation, whether these shops are open to business or not. After almost one week of inactivity due to the lockup, Nigerians and other foreigners who own shops at Summer Magazine have reopened for business. It is unclear how they arrived at the decision as police mediated discussion on the matter is yet to achieve concrete results. A Nigerian trader who spoke on condition of anonymity says there is still fear among them as they are uncertain what can happen in the next moment. I say our place, if they come back to log shop, I will probably obey them because right here I'm not a Ghanaian, I'm a foreigner. Any, they can do anything provided they are their land. If they eventually come again, I will close it and go. go. Ghanaian spare parts dealer Mamiya insists the influx of foreigners in the retail space is affecting local businesses. If we say, no more rain in me, mommy, or call Dubai and China and a coffaba. A bit me a more than six months near to our dear. But Obebusa, Nippon Bebusa, Nebia or Sako. She says the Nigerian dominance on the retail market is really affecting our businesses. Their products are inferior and substandard, so it's cheaper than ours. The customers prefer to buy the cheap Nigerian goods to our quality products imported from Dubai and China. Meanwhile, Guta leadership says it is unrelenting in its demand for strict enforcement of law banning foreigners from retail trade in Ghana. Albert Ofe Mensah is spokesperson in Ashanti region. Sooner we will continue to close it again as it is. Sooner we will continue. Also. Oh, sooner. I can't even give you my, my secret. This is our secret. Sooner we will continue to even and control, and control all the market at the same time, close the rest which remain. Because we have about 600 shops for foreigners in Ashanti region or in Kumasi in particular. So soon I will close it again. Any moment from now, you will hear from us. As you know that even Accra people also have been closed. The Sunya people also started Tamale, will start in Takradi too. We want to show or tell the government he has to come to our aid immediate. Otherwise, something will happen. Something which nobody was expecting it will happen soon. For Joy News, Nana Asensu Mensa, Kumasi. All right, now mining firm Angogo Dashanti says it's looking forward to improve working environment despite the volatile situation that preceded the company's closure in 2014. The revived mine is expected to pour first gold by the end of the year, targeting 2,000 tons daily in the first phase of production. Managing Director Eric Subontin says cooperation from security agencies and local communities is crucial in protecting the mine from Galamse activities. On him interior has more in the following report. The revival of the Wasi mine after the 2014 shutdown comes with security concerns, especially due to activities of illegal miners on the company's concession. In February 2016, Angogot Ashanti lost then general manager John Owusu in an anti galamse operation. The company looks to pour in first gold at the redevelopment of Wasi mine by the end of this year targeting 2,000 tons of gold daily in the first phase. Mr. Esubontin, who acknowledges the effect of illegal mining on Uncle Gold Ashanti's operations, is optimistic of adequate security for the mine. If you take, for instance, what happened in 2016, where part of the mine was invaded, 
uh, by illegal miners. That brought the mine to its knees. Where we are now, we are operating in a secured environment. We continue to rely on our partners in government, the security agencies, to ensure that that peace can be sustained so that we can be able to redevelop the mine and achieve that first uh, key milestone of producing gold or first ounce of gold by the end of the year. Angogold Ashanti has developed social management plan aligned to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for local communities. It covers education, healthcare, and creation of alternative livelihood through agriculture. Mr. Esbontin wants residents of Obuasi to take ownership of the Obuasi mine's security. If this mine goes down, it not only affects the employees and owners of the company, it affects all stakeholders, including the government and the money that goes into government coffers through taxes and royalties and so on and so forth. I think when the mine went down uh, from uh, 2015 right up to the middle of next year, we all know how the Obuase town looked like. People were saying the town was dead. Uh, and nobody can say now that the mine is coming back, there hasn't been a difference. Even though we haven't started production, it's very obvious that economic activity in the town has picked up. Market women, if you get the opportunity to interview them, will tell you that the economic activity has picked up. Contractors are in town. Employees are, are in town. People are renting houses. They are buying food. Some are coming to the KNUST campus. Without the mines revival, all these wouldn't have been possible. So our interest, quite frankly, is aligned. Both the company, the residents of Obuasi, local traditional leaders, all our interests are aligned, if you really look at it closely. So on that basis, we all have to come together in a constructive way to ensure that we maintain the peace and security that the mine, as well as other businesses and economic activities, would require to progress. From Kumasi for Joy News, Ohim Ventivia reporting. And that's it for business.